morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about this mechanobiology and cytokine array. So you have to familiar with this term, mechanosecretomics in mechanoproteomics. So as you know, proteomics means analyze, analysis of protein. And then one of the proteomics, you can think about the protein can be secreted from cell which sometimes is called secretomes, right? So one of the subject, uh, uh, sub subject of the proteomics is secretomics. Then what, what another category? So pr proteomics is on the top and then below secretomics and then as you know, Western blood or other kind of component of the protein you can detect using many assay or many ELISA. So here we are focusing on proteomics, especially the secretomics. So as you know, mechano means when you change some different substrate, stiffness, topology, or any kind of mechano relative parameter, you can call it mechano something. So actually mechano proteomics is one of the mechanomics. Mechanomics is including RNA sequencing, ATEC sequencing, chip sequencing, and blah, blah, blah. All kind of sequencing in terms of gene, DNA, RNA, protein can be called mechanomics. So this, is, this figure is content of the mechanomics. Here, uh, there are many parameters like uh, physical stimuli from compression force, shear force, and tangential gravity, and nanotopology stiffness. And then when cells experience this kind of different parameter of the mechanical things, and then they just display some function change, which is DNA change, sometimes not really, and RNA, gene expression change, and protein level as well. And then from the cellular level, as well as the pro and then tissue level and organ level, they can change. So, how these different parameter of the mechanical things can affect the other kind of gene, DNA, protein, can be called mechanomics. Okay. So the global function of a mechanical factor in an organism. So. When you think about the mechanomics, uh, as you know, RNA sequencing, ATEC sequencing, which we already learned, is all are including in mechanomics. And then one of the mechanomics is we can call it mechanoproteomics if we focus on protein. Protein change in cell, as you know, the MSC, when they are cultured on stiff substrate, they are more prone to differentiate to osteogenic cell. And then this osteogenic cell, they can have more um, relevant protein related to the bone, right? But if the MSC are culturally on the soft gel, their cellular protein, most of them are related to the neurogenic proteins, right? So this is called mechanoproteomics. Depending on the cell, num cell types, and that depending on the which force they are induced, they can show different protein. From the themselves, okay? But sometimes people want to see, okay, uh, them cell protein, they can be changed. And then, but as you know, the cell can secrete some, can secrete some protein to communicate with other cell, and then which we especially call it secretomics, okay? In terms of mechanoproteomics, many people study already, but in terms of mechanosecretomics, not study fully. For example, if you culture the cell on TCP and then the other cell on RGD with 100 kilopascal and then later when you collect the soup and then analyze the soup superintent. So with top one is we can call it senescence from the three passage and below one is compared to TCP which has 10 gigapascal they have less senescence culture condition. And then 
when they analyze senescence and non-senescence feature, TCP can show more beta gal staining, which means they are more aged. Okay, blue one is more aged compared to one zero pascal. So beta gal positive MSC are highly increasing in TCP. And then when they collect the soup and then check their secretum, okay, compared to TCP, RGD they can show RGD with 10 100 100. As you see, three, three, 30 kilopascal, they can show more VGF, passage 1 and 4, interleukin 8, and GRO, interleukin 6. So they only analyze four kinds of cytokine here. But anyhow, depending on the substrate stiffness, we can easily think that the secreted molecule can be changed in terms of their types and their concentration. But when I search it, not much of study are performed yet. So if you want to do this kind of study, that can be very good. So you can apply this concept in your study always. So overall, let's see, when you culture the cell on 2D condition, different cell shape, and then when you culture them, when cells show some different shape change or area change or morphological change, and then as you know, the mechanobiology field, there is one rule. Shape, change, function. Shape, determine the function, okay? When you see some change of shape, and then you can think that they, are, uh, they can show some different cellular function, okay? Like that, when you culture MSC on different stiffness, you can see dramatic change over the shape. So definitely you can expect that protein level by themselves, they can change. RNA level also change. And then secretum from the cell also can be changed, okay? And even when you culture them, same stiffness but different uh, protein coding like collagen, collagen type 4, fibronectin laminin, also shape change. And then you can expect RNA change, DNA change, sometimes protein change, and also secretum can be changed. Okay. So when you observe something, and then you think about how you analyze overall, not specifically sometimes. So depending on the, which kind of force are induced, they can show high level of the protein and low level of the protein totally. And then you can analyze further which kind of protein is more detected. When you refer this paper, you can see this kind of feature but they are quite uh, recently published. And then, okay, let's say you observe some shape change in your fiber, your gel, or any kind of situation under LPS or H22, and then you have to know, oh, which kind of say I have to do. In that case, you, you can visit this eBiogen website. And then here, service, and then you can click the protein mixing antibody array. And then when you go that, you have three subcategories. Fulman bio antibody array, ready bio antibody array, and LCMS protein mix service. I can introduce one by one. Here, let's, and over, overallly, Fulman bio antibody means uh, they, actually they have many panels. Certain panels have only protein. Some panel can analyze signaling pathway or phosphorylation. And sometimes the kit can give you two slides which means you can check two sample. And then it's one slide that can have maximum 1,400 cytokine or phosphorylation or any kind of signaling. And then you can see human mouse resources, sometimes red, but compar compared to other human and mouse, red have some low activity. They are detailed introduced in the each panel. And then relatively cheap than other layer biotech. Layer biotech, they, as far as I see, they only can analyze proteins level. And then one kit have two or four slides, which means when you click four slides, you can have four different samples. Okay? And then they can provide up to 6,000 cytokines or proteins. And then they can provide human mouse red and or, or other species as well. And a little expensive than from bio. In terms of LCMS protein mix, 
This LC-means protein mix they analyze based on the molecular weight. Other two, they analyze based on the antibody antigen reaction. The same as the ELISA or other kind of uh, array. But this below one, they only analyze based on molecular weight. And then, regardless of species, you can check. And the chip, but they can show only low heat. Low heat means that uh, theoretically they can analyze uncountable number of the protein or cytokine, but the resolution of detection is very low, so they can only show like 100 or 50. So I'll, I do not recommend them unless you want to find a special new protein or new secretome. Okay, let's go one by one. So I give some question to the company. I have four samples. Actually, this is based on the OYUNAS project. I have four samples, and then I should analyze supernatant. And they should be cultured in gross media, including the FBS, under H202. And then they are including phenol right. Any suggestion for a say? So they suggest two. One is Fulman Biocytokine Profiling Antibody Array. And then we can order two sets, because one set have two slides. So two sets, they can have both samples. And then, luckily, they can provide same lot number. Lot number means that, as you know, different manufacturer, different lot number, they can give you different results sometimes. So you have to always ask, please give us same lot number. Lot number means that same data, same date, they, may, they make this panel. Okay. So as you know, when you do the experiment today or tomorrow, next week, to, to, can be different, right, from your side. Also, from the manufacturer side, they can have different value. So we have to request the same number always. In terms of layer biotech, chip antibody array, they also recommend. And then especially human L507 array, because they can give four samples in one set, and then they did a lot. Also, this year, these are very highly uh, cited from the other reference paper. Okay. So, and then lay biotech, they can give you positive normalization method. And then Fermon Bio, media normalization, I can give you specifically one by one. And then when you prepare a sample, this is very important. Fermon Bio, you have to give them 2 ml, lay biotech 1 to 2 ml. And then they analyze based on the volume not concentration. In case of Western blood, you have to normalize concentration using PCA or bread flow assay. But from the, this assay, they only analyze from the volume. When you think rationally, actually the, you are culturing the cell using same volume, like 2 ml in 6 well, and then overnight, you collect the soup, and then definitely they have some same volume, but depending on how they are secreted, they can give different protein amount, right? So here you have to think about they did not did not con, did not normalize based on the protein amount. Okay? So when you analyze in the result part, you have to think that part. Because uh, depending on their how they are normalized the their protein level, your result totally different. Right? So you always think that Initially, they in inject same volume, but finally, when they analyze it, they normalize by themselves certain condition. So sometimes, if your cell can secrete more protein, but during the normalization, this highly secretion can be deduced. Okay, so you have to think more and more how you analyze better. So in that case, you can you should analyze by yourself. And, and then condition, uh, they recommend always FS-free media, but sometimes FS-free media cell cannot survive well. So, and then FS can be added in media, and then they recommend uh, uh, FBS media control group, which means if we have four samples, one sample only without cell, just FBS media. But if you accept FBS background, you can do, okay? which means in this time, uh, I can have four sample. If I add this FBS media control, I should order one another kit, which means I can have four sample, which is, which is uh, not recommended because three sample is empty. So that's why 
I just ignore this uh, app-based media included control group, and then I got a very good result. And then they recommend get soup uh, according to your schedule, and then after 2,000 RPM, 10 minutes, 4 degree, and then you get the supernatant to remove the cell debris. Cell debris, they can give you error. And then get the soup, immediately store at minus 80 degree. And then make book in website, eBiogen, and the deliver guy come to you within one week, and then they will deliver them with dry eyes. Let's see full moon bio system. So when you go full moon bio, this is their slide. So here uh, they can show 310 unique antibody they already deposited on the slide. And then uh, blah, 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 culture media tissue, anything you can do, they give two identical array, which means they can give you two sample, catalog number, price like that. In detail, uh, Elaja based, 310 cytokine, and six replicate per antibody, which means actually they are spotted 300 multiplied six, okay? Because when you put one sample, but they analyze 300 cytokine, but one cytokine, they have six duplicate. I will show you later in the image. And then quality tip, sampling tip analysis, and then blah, blah, blah. And then fluorescence based detection. Two array slide, okay? Three T side, and then 301, 10 cytokine, six duplicate, human reactivity. And then you can analyze cell lysate, tissue lysate, serum, culture media, based on fluorescence. And then as a passive control, they can give beta actin, gaptation, negative control, like that. But you don't need to worry about that point. Also, you analyze the specification, and then you send the sample, they analyze it. Okay? The only, only way, only considered point is that how, which kind of array you are select, selecting, and then how you send your sample. So this is the process. Okay, when you have some this super or some something you want to analyze, and then when you give the sample to them, from number two, the company they do. Okay, they buy biotinylation of protein sample, and then they put sample in the array, and at a certain time, they detect by them machine. So this is my result. Uh, conscious media means that literally conscious media from the certain cell. And then cell-free media means without cell culture, I just give them just media, but without FBS. Yeah. So here, uh, and then for just in case, I analyze, uh, they analyze the protein level, and then they give you uh, this concentration of 1.2 from CM, 1.3 from SFM. As you can expect, this company, they only do protein analysis based on BCA. BCA, when they have panel red, all things are mixed up. So you cannot believe this, okay? When you analyze the phenol red included media, the only way to analyze the protein concentration is bread food. So even though they give you this document, you don't you don't need to worry about that. SFM they don't have any protein. They should zero. But here they should like that. And then I give you I want to analyze based on the serum free media, condition media, which kind of protein detected. So this is their meaning. Still replicate. This is one cytokine but they can give you six spot and they average it, okay? So like that, they can give you this kind of panel, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they give, they have 310. And then the document, they show this one. Yeah, same as before. Uh, this gene symbol, antibody, blah, 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 blah. And then uh, they give you the log to value, abnormalization, and then so they also give you low data. And then flag means that you have six replicate. So no, no error, which means zero. When you have all error from the six replicate, they can give you minus 100. And then when they give you one error from six replicate, they can give you minus 16. Okay, minus 16.6. 
So when they analyze it, they remove this error. So let's say if you have six sample, but two is somehow not good, and then they automatically remove these two and then analyze based on these four spots. So this is my real data. Media only, oh, this is a very passive control here, there. And then compared to right, left one, actually this is this kind of dot 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 is flag error, okay? But this is a real detection. Well, very low, but somehow you can see very very big difference between the right and left, okay? So, and then this first part is very highly um, highly detected, and especially this left one, highly detected, right? Also this one. So this this can be uh, explained as a flag error, but this is real data, okay? Based on this fluorescence, they measure the fluorescence level. So flag means, as you know, this one is one error. And then when you give one minus 100, which means all error. And then low data means without normalization. And then they normalize. And then they can give you this value. So here, low data, oh, they can show very big difference, right? SFM, no protein at all. Occurrence media, any other certain protein can be secreted. But what happened at normalization and log 2? Same, similar. Even this 20 time change can be same, right? It doesn't make sense because SFM doesn't have any protein. Why did it happen? Because they, are not, they normalized based on the total protein level. They average all the, this value and then let's say this average is 100, this average is 1000, and then they normalize again based on this average, 1000. So when the CM, they can secrete more protein, but at normalization, this more secreted protein is deduced from the data. And then they show like that. So I have to do normalization by myself, which means here, I just substrate this value to this. So it depends on your condition or depends on your experiment set, okay? Do not believe their normalization. You, you should 100% understand how they normalize it. Anyhow, so they show like that. So I ask why few hit? So I need new normalization needed. So you can request the low data file and then including that is the control. So they show me that uh, low data, uh, this, they have four positive negative control, empty means negative control, positive marker, and then gap data detected. So I, they are very similar, right? So based on this, I normalize it. But actually, when they are normalized it, they are using this one. Uh, they are average this or uh, each sample average value and then normalize it. So I will show you in detail later. Anyhow, uh, they can give you 310 cytokines. So how they, are th how they appear? So this is their slide. Block one means block one. And when you go there, PP, positive, empty, and block cytokine one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And then this one, you can see their name here. One means for one BB receptor. Two, adipodectin. Three, EGVAG, blah, blah. And then barcode label. So depending on which kind of cytokine array you select, but you can, anyhow, you can get oh, from this panel what happened. So when you see exactly this one, and then when you go back, let's say this left upper passive control. Okay, passive control. And then next, empty, empty, and then force is one, and then maybe around empty, empty, this is one, okay? Sometimes you can say, this you want to highlight, and then you make some box here, and then you can have to say that this is VGM, this is FGM, something like. So as you know, flag, uh, they one, six, Error from the total six spot minus 100, 
but only one error means 16.6 minus okay oh uh, yeah after excluding the errors they make our analyze so i have to normalize again because they normalize data based on some of the density because and then my data they should show different protein concentration so i normalized based on the uh, uh, and get -th level so dr lyun she normalized like that uh, let's see so here okay uh, low data empty and then let's go up so actually we substrate this is our low data we substrate the empty empty means negative control for the all or ID okay low low data minus empty and then based on that we can make the full change I think that this is more proper way for, for me in this time okay because these two sample protein concentration totally change maybe this is zero or they have 100 times or we cannot count it but they have more protein so uh, I cannot normalize based on this protein average concentration so I substrate the empty value from each panel and then based on that I can make for full change and then I can make the data okay so like that uh, here uh, I substrate this uh, SFM low value here So for CM, I CM minus the empty value of the CM average, and for SFM, SFM minus empty value of the SFM. Sometimes they can show minus value. So I when I gather this lowest minus value, let's say minus 17, and then I plus all 17 up here. Uh, uh, or I just I this minus minus thing, I gi I give you them just one or zero. Oh, it's up to you because they which means they don't express anything. And then so here substrate empty each for normalization, make voltage chain and make hit hit map. And so after make hit map, you can do David and Keck analysis. You know you learn from the RNA sequencing data, right? Here they provide antibody name and then when you go here they can provide the matching gene level, gene name so using gene name you can analyze david and cat so this is the bio normalization in detail how they do okay so they have this low data so all the data they Break average like this. Also, SFM they average like this, and then they make the average between two: 170, 120, 150, 140 around, and then they divide it by this and give you 0.8, 1.2, and then they multiply this value to this to get this one. Okay. So this way, based on these two sample, they have similar protein concentration. You can analyze like this. But if your sample have totally different protein concentration, you can analyze this. Because my purpose is that I want to analyze which kind of protein is more secretive. Not, not only composition, but also the concentration. Okay? But you're using your breadfold before sending the sample. You analyze you when you analyze the concentration of protein when they are similar concentration and then based on that you can analyze or depending on your purpose you want to highlight the protein amount and then you substrate the empty value but if you want to highlight the different composition change you can analyze based on that okay okay let's call it dirt so here pinky did 
So we are culture in chat, and then one is uh, only media without zero. So one, another one is that we collect after 48 hours later, and then we storage them, and then cytokine hormone bio array, and then other things we can do. So SFM, they should show nothing, right? But other protein, we can detect a lot. And then based on this, uh, this is some protein. So I convert the protein name to the gene level because they are already depicted in the Excel file. Based on that, I can do this uh, test David analysis. From then, I can see proliferation related geo, marriage related geo, ontobiotic geo, juicy geo. So I can say that we already confirmed this proliferation, migration, differentiation can be enhanced from the condition media. So I can support the data this, from this analysis. Okay, this is recently published in this journal, so you can refer that. Now let's go lay by attack. Lay by attack, they can give you many panel as well. And then one of them uh, is uh, human L60,000, which means they can analyze 6,000 6, cytokine. Okay, but here I focus on human L507. They can analyze around 500 cytokine or protein. So depending on which cytokine you, in your mind, you can select the proper array. Okay, there is no golden rule. If we want to see many cytokine, you have to do, you have to select the, the L6000. But if you only focus on certain inflammation cytokine, and then they have the inflammation cytokine panel. So in your mind, you always think that which kind of hit cytokine can be expected. Based on that, you can see many names here, and then you search. So they include your expected cytokine or not. And then process is very similar from the previous, but they can give you like black and white sometimes or fluorescence. So here, when you select this, some kit can give you four sample, some kit can give you two sample. And then you can analyze based on the fluorescence, sometimes values based on the black and white. Okay. And here, uh, from human only they allowed it. Cell culture, blah, 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 label base. And here, chemo luminescence. And then membrane type, two or three, you can select. Gene symbol, they have up to 500. And then here, you can see many their gene names. Okay. And then also, I did this real biotech te technique using the OINA sample. So without means, this sample, I culture the cell, human MSC, plus Hubex cell, co-culture, without any material, with graphene oxide, with graphene oxide seria, and then with graphene oxide seria plus salt inhibitor, or under H22, okay? So some people think that H22 that can de uh, degrade the protein. It's a, yeah, that can be right. So right after getting the protein, you should keep it in minus 80 as, as much as possible, okay? Then yeah, we perfectly want to mimic the, our in vitro condition. So we analyze this and then actually they show this value. Here we are using uh, phenol, phenol free media. So we can believe this. So from the BCA analysis, they have this concentration. So uh, they already dilute 10 times. So multiply. Yeah, maybe multiply 100 times here. Dilution factor and then based on the volume. And then yeah, here they can give you this uh, array service order. Mm. Human, real biotech, condition media, and disposal. Ah, sorry, I adding FBS. Also H2 and DMSO. But I think the result is quite good. So this is their low data images. It looked not very significant, but when you keep in detail, you can see something. So anyhow, sometimes you can put it in supplementary, and then they can give you map, like 
passive control, negative control, one, two, three, four, and then 507, like that. And then this is their result set. As you see, they can give you gene symbol as your antibody name. So when you analyze David and Cat, you can you have to use gene symbol, but when you show in heat map, you have to change to the antibody name. Because this is not gene, gene expression checking. This is based on protein checking. Okay? We have to rename it sometime. The gene level, gene name is like ACVR2A, but the protein name is a little bit different. And then here is the target list of the two, two of things. And then, now how the Ray-Bio do the normalization? They do based on positive normalization, which means uh, mean value from positive markers of sample. Previously, how they do? They normalize based on the average of the old sample, right? But here, they normalize based on the positive marker only. And then, get collection value so let's say you have two samples, and then you average the two samples of the positive marker. Let's say GAPTH. And then you get correction value, this average, and then your each positive marker. Sometimes they can give you 0.9, sometimes they can give you 1.1. And then using correction value, you multiply low data. Okay? But this is not based on the, how can I say, protein concentration. This is based on the, this passive marker actually, uh, this is some yes or no of the, this assay. This is not based on the uh, level of the protein amount. Uh, as far as I know. But you have to confirm again. Which kind of passive marker they use for normalization? Beta actin, GAPTH, they are protein amount based one. But as far as I know, this, this uh, Ray Biotech, they are based on this value, this one. This is not based on the protein concentration. This is based on the some chemical composition of your chemical composition of the array. How they are efficiently detect the fluorescence. And then, yeah, this is my my group. We we co-culture this. Uh, Hubeck and MSC, and then culture them 48 hours under H2O2 and sometimes inhibitor, and then with our cell, uh, with our material. And then this is our group, H2O2 all are treated, but inhibitor treated below, last one. And we can observe that uh, this uh, cell plus seria graphene oxide that can give you high expression of HIFO alpha even under H2O2 condition, VGF, Azure well FGF. And then this omnigulation that can be compromised using this HIF1 alpha inhibitor. We check by the gene expression level, and then we want to know which kind of cytokine is more released. So this is our data. So we analyzed based on this uh, David analysis. And then from certain geo, we check angiogenesis, cell cycle, ECM. And we observe more angiogenic here gene, but you have to convert this gene name to the protein. We analyze more uh, angiogenic secretome, secreted. And cell cycle, secreted more secreted, and then ECM also more secreted. And then this is our analysis. Based on that, we can make support change. Always remember, please change the gene name to protein name. You have to analyze this geo based on gene name, but after you have to show them as a protein name. Okay? And then this is geo analysis based on the contra regulated cytokine. And here, cell survivor, RS, cell migration, cell signaling, they are detected. So those are all uh, supporting our previous in vivo, in vitro data. Yeah. Also, this can be published soon. So you can see the paper. And then lastly, LCMS. LCMS is, as you know, based on the molecular weight. So they are based on the molecular weight divide analysis. 
and then they can you can you have to send them up to 150 microgram protein and then they can analyze everything and then it will give you more long period for getting the data five weeks and then uh, here I analyze uh, just condition media but original condition media and then versus 110 times concentrated condition media using three sides of kilodalton cutoff and then without effort-based condition because I feel like 1x original condition media they are not enough to show the peak so I want to collect a similar peak between the two and then when they show 10 times more I can expect that this protein is really detected but the data like that this is some uh, low data okay low data means based on the peak area condition media almost nothing when I concentrate one, 10 thousand and 10 times they are very highly detected so I feel like their resolution is not good in terms of LCMS okay so you have to concentrate them hmm, at least 10 times using certain centrifuge things so this for change I cannot believe this oh, this no nothing and then you can see on this one so based on which kind of uh, protein is more secreted based on this low value and then when I see it they show like that uh, protein expression profiling LCMS and then uh, I gave you this concentration when I using the protein bread for the say this condition media have this amount and this, this amount and then not exactly 10 times but 6 times higher concentrated and the volume I have this one and the group name like that and then they have they have PCA and then they by themselves they normal, they analyze the average of the protein and then they can give you this amount this left one which I did this right one they did anyhow 2 or 3 times 6 times higher here so they can give you this uh, LCMS data GCM means uh, this is from the another another things from Wendy so we analyze uh, gross media condition and dual media condition and then we collect the sub and analyze it so oh but interestingly this NCM have less peak oh, what happened because we expect compared to gross media during media they can show more protein secretum but when you saw in detail this also this upper value is this one time for getting the component LCMS based on how fast the molecule is deposit, detected okay so this 56 is based on x-axis and this 421 is y-axis value the intensity but when you go right side also this intensity also similar 400 okay so which means they are they using different y-axis so you have to request please give me the same y-axis and then you can have this good data so based on the same analysis the same y-axis pattern NCM 212 they can show more protein okay dramatically and then these two are very similar so and then here one thing means peptide but peptide means uh, sometimes peptide that can be spliced or they can be degraded okay in from the two profile assay they are based on the antibody antigen so which means some protein they are degraded partially but they can be detected if they preserve pre preserve some interest of the sequence for being binded to the array but here when they are not 100% matching so this peak can be totally different okay so this is way better sensitive but way better uh, how can I say tough to analyze so they can give you this value this is their expectation they are not 100% sure because they are based on the molecular weight sometimes protein can be degraded or spliced differently so coverage means let's say keratin they have 100 
uh, base space of more than peptide, but coverage means this work, this peak, they match it 44%. Okay? Not 100% match it. So, so and then you can think that, oh, which kind of coverage I have to believe it. There is no rule. You have to make your own cell. You have to say that maybe based on the coverage 20%, I analyze it. You have to decide by yourself. Okay? So this is coverage means hit peptide sequencing to the total library peptide sequencing, which means collagen alpha one, and then collagen alpha one, they have one dress peptide sequencing, and then they only uh, hit 27 peptide sequencing. Okay? So this is sample peptide sequencing, their really hit it sequencing peptide number is 21. And then this also, yeah. They have 21 peptide. From the 21, all 21 is in the library. Okay? So you can approximately maybe around 100 peptides, their original peptide sequencing. And then AAH is library of amino acid. Okay? Also, also amino acid, few amino acid, they are making the peptide, right? Amino acid is a more major number. And then their library molecular weight. This is from the library. Library means that their collagen alpha-1 chain. Okay? And then detection time. This is their y-axis. Okay? So yeah, they can give you this uh, value here. And then like that. This is their raw data based on the area. And then they can show this value. So we try to analyze which kind of things are more detected. So I'm using two for chain and unique peptide. And then 10,000 and 10 times high concentration. And then this is the original CM. And then this 100, they are only detected in 10 time concentrated. But core detected one only have 11. And then when I analyze it, they all the things they have or ECM, fibrin, MMP2, IGF, IGP, collagen, fibrinatin, IGP, collagen 6, blah, blah, blah. So all things are incorporated in the ECM, except this IGF BP2. So when I do GO analysis, all they show them ECM related things, in collagen. So this thing, I cannot use it for supporting my data. So I feel like, oh, this HMS is not good. Yeah, I finally conclude by myself. But depending on your purpose, you can try it. But I highly recommend, please do other layer biotech and proven bio. And then, so actually, I found in HMS also, extra file and the low file they have a huge diff discrepancy due to the discrepancy due to the, their heat protein level. So they said they are using different software and they're making the heat. So extra file they provided and the low data they have different heat protein. So I can understand 100%, but anyhow, mm, something is not good for me. So as a summary of the today, I suggest. Layer biotech or Fulman Bio, I highly recommend it. Especially Fulman Bio, they can give you phosphorylation or signal pathway analysis. So you can just look at in detail and see. And then sometimes you have to denormalization. So please understand how they normalize. And then same preparation, basically 2000 RPM, 10 minutes, 40 degree for removing debris, and then keep immediately minus 80. And then you have to analyze by David, change gene name to the protein name, and then try to put the protein mix and link its data to make a biology feature, and then don't multiply free showing. Sometimes if you have three ml media after removing the debris, and then one or two ml, you send them, and then remaining one ml, you keep it for the, your other allied study or other kind of study. So you have to design very carefully. Okay, let's visit the uh, Ebiogen site. So 
B biogen here, a new go service, proteomics antibody array, and then Fulmon Bio, okay, here Fulmon Bio, Real Biotech HMS, Fulmon Bio. They can give you cancer signaling array, cytokine profile array, post post explorer, signal explorer array, and then so less more detail. And then they directly give you Fulmon Bio. And then here, how antibody working? There are many things. Let's see. We want to focus on some this AKT signaling. Oh, they can give you one pack, two slide. And how do they do? They blah blah blah. 216 side. And then as you see, red very relatively less low reactivity compared to human and mouse. And then five to like that. Process based target protein. This is related to the AKT signal pathway. So you analyze make this very long AKT, but which kind of AKT signaling they are involved, and then you can choose this one. Okay, and then like that. Other yeah, many many. And this is a protein apoptosis cell cycle cytokine profile array, and it's for inflammation here. MAPK signal introduction, and you go signal introduction array. Oh. They can give you. So here, actually today, I'm focusing on secretome. But if we want to analyze the signal interest the pathway, you cannot use, you should not use secretome. Okay? You should directly lyse the cell, and then you should get the protein from the cell by themselves. Okay? So depending on, you are focusing on secretome, and then you have to using the condition media. But if we are focusing on some signal pathway. And then you have to lysate the cell, and then collect the collect the protein, and then do this assay. And then you can detail, ask this company how you prepare the your lysate. Okay, there are so many candidates. Also, total protein profiling and yeah, here, here like that. Hmm. And then when you visit this uh, biotech, also they have many streets. L, G, quantibody. So where L, Y, I choose, they have more 1,000 analysis analyzed. So and then species, human, mouse, rat, and other things. So let's go list this L series. From the L series, they can give you L6,000, 4,000, 2,000, maybe depending on the price. It's very high expensive and the other one is low expensive than others. So most of the time, I recommend this one. But if you do not have the proper proper protein, you can try 1,000, 2,000, but they are quite expensive than others. This is all, all from the human. When you go mouse, they can build the mouse up to 1,000, red, 150, and then other rabbit, okay? So they are more focusing on some secretome, rebel tech. So from the secretome, rebel tech is your first of choice, but for signal and pass away other things, you can try use this from Mumbai. I recommend. Okay, and simply for the next heat map tools, so I simply introduce as a third topic. So sometimes you can analyze based on the, uh, what is that? This is some how you analyze your secret term, your or gene suppression level using heat map. Depending on the internal key for treatment time, you can make this cluster. This cluster, over time, they are going up, this is going up and down, no change. Lastly up, going down. This kind of heat map, how you make it? We can use this more fails. You can click this website and then. So let's briefly see. So if you have your low data, like I culture the MSC on different stiffness, one, two, three, one kilopascal TCP and TCP plus blab statin, and then I'm checking long no coding RNA, and then this is their normalization data at the local level, and then when you put this data, and then you you can have this value here, okay, and then they can also give you here like that. Here you can fit, you can do the option low and option, and then you can change this minimum maximum, okay? And then, 
Also, you can change this format, blue and white, red. So I recommend, if you use some Xtega file, they can give you G-score. G-score, they always from minus two to plus two. So always minus two plus two, and then here, when you go this, this is a color scheme, scan for option. When you go display, when you go display, they can show show grid. So I do not want to this grid between this graph. So you unclick this show grid, and then they can give you like that. And then, okay, how you cluster them? When you go clustering, they can give you many, many options. One minus Spearman length correlation, one minus Kindle correlation. So you have to click which cluster you want to do from the average, from certain value, and then you choose whatever you want. So for me, this one minus Kindle is correct correlation is work for me, so I use this one. So when you go this here, uh, when I do the, this heat map, okay, you can see this part going up, first up and down, something like, and this one slightly going up and down. So like that, when you analyze this heat map and you can just, how can I say, crop it and then you can put like that, okay? So if we want to see some trend, so you have to change which, which clustering are properly adjusted and then based on that, you make the clustering and then you crop and copy and paste to make this kind of tendency. So I will show you briefly how you can do. This is your homework for the next lecture. Okay, when you visit this Mor Morpheus, this is a free software. Okay, Morpheus, so I already, I already share with this file. You just drop it and then they can show this one. Okay. Here, they show randomly, right? So I go, first you have to change to and then transpose, change to the left to right, okay? And then 123, 100 TCP. And then, what else? View, option, as I said, this is a G-score from the normalization. So, they first initially they show one, 0 to 1. I hate it. So, minus 2 and 2. They change. So, this is low value, minus 2, middle, 0, high, 2. And then, if you want to change the shape, not circle, like circle, color, mm, I don't like it. And then, Display, I don't know the show grid. Yeah, and then you can change the low and this one. Close. And they can show like that. Okay? So from minus two two, but they are not cluster yet. So two he may cluster. So let's say column means this is column. Ah sorry, this is column. So based on the column, please do the normalization. And then They can do, but it's too long, right? So I can fit to the window like that. But in this case, oh, this is 1,000 genes, so they are very big, big. So nice to me. Oh my God. How can I go back? So any, anyhow, oh, okay. One more time. Transpose. Option. Minus two. Plus two. Without grid. Okay. And then do clustering. This time, there are many clusters. 
So base, so you can click one by one, and then you have to choose which one is more properly clustered based on your theory. And then, when they cluster like that, so this is one clustering based on their formula. As you can see, one sometimes left one is the blue, top is one, but when you go right side. Red is one, right? So you can make this cluster by themselves. And sometimes you can do K-map. K-map K means that you can make, you can determine your cluster number. Like, okay, I can choose 10. And then they can give you this 10, uh, cluster 10, 10, 9, and this is one cluster. So you can click this one. Yeah, this is based on from the 10 cluster, number 1 cluster, and number 2 cluster, number 3 cluster, based on their formula. Okay, you seem like they are more uh, collected in similar pattern, right? Mm. So, like that, uh, you can cluster by yourself. Okay, so this is your next your task for the next week okay so today we are learning about how you select the array and then after getting the data from the array or array sequencing how you cluster them so also this clustering can be used for analyzing the secretome or some signal pathway so this is one of the tools to play with it so please keep the memory okay thank you